Hey y'all, so I am home alone today. This is like the first time this has happened in forever. Um, so maybe some of you don't know Andy, my husband, he works from home. So even when I'm home off work, uh, he's, he's here, which is fine because I love him. And, uh, and he's usually just in his office uh, working so but it's still very different feeling him not being here so um, I am going to feed some chickens and start a little project um, get the camera set back up in a minute it's gonna be pretty cool and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm gonna be working on so stay tuned hey y'all okay so here's what's up for Christmas this year my brother-in-law and his girlfriend made us a one of those gemstone things. It's like paint by number, but with the gemstones. And I absolutely adore what they gave me. The only thing is, is I can't find a frame that I like. Um, I like rustic stuff. Kind of country, chic, rustic. I don't know what to call it, but I like it. This is what they made me. And it's actually, it's, it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. The time that was put into this is absolutely mind blowing. I paint and you'll see some of that in some future videos, but this, I don't think I would have the patience to do this, but they said it's very relaxing. So I want to frame it. So my plan, I have some old rustic looking, it's an old door frame. So I think that it's going to look great on here. Project one for the, for the videos, for the vlog, for Twin Cedar Farms. This will be the first arts and crafty project that I've done in my workshop. I'm really excited about it. I don't know if you guys are, but <laughs> I am. I probably have like a table and a pegboard and my tools and I've got outlets and it's just, I'm so blessed right now. Um, God hooked me up with my workshop. So, all right. So we're going to get started. Um, first things first, I'm going to have to do some snooping around in my workshop here and see if I can find something that is going to be a good base, like a back for it. All right. So I went snooping around. And I went snooping around and I found this. Obviously, it's just too big. But, like this, side to side, to be able to attach my framing around it, overlap a little bit, as to not take too much away from the picture. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this off across here. Right below where this picture stops. First thing we need, we need a pencil and measuring tape. I'm gonna come in. It's gonna be about a half inch all the way around the picture. I said we're gonna come off of the edge of the picture. I know you can't see right now what I'm doing exactly, but I'm gonna show you in just a second. Make sure that we get even half inch off of the picture's edge. So, I'll take this picture out of the way and show you. I've got a line drawn across through here. And I'm going to cut this, and that will be the back of our frame. All right, y'all. So, today I'm going to be using a jigsaw. Now, this is a skill brand jigsaw. And pretty much. The reason I'm going to be using this today is because I'm hoping that some of you ladies or even gentlemen who have not been brought up the way I was brought up, which was fix it, learn to fix it for yourself before you try to pay somebody else to do it. Calling someone in to fix something or build something or do something is always a last, last resort in our family growing up. Jigsaw is a very easy tool to use. First things first, safety goggles. 
Now, anyone can build anything, in my opinion, if you put your mind to it. <laughs> There's tons of YouTube videos out there. Find your line. Make sure that you don't have any obstruction in the way underneath. And hold out of the way. Make sure your fingers aren't anywhere near your blade. They will chew your fingers up and cut. the jigsaw make sure when you're cutting and I still out of habit do this sometimes but when you're cutting um, if you have to stop cutting before you get to the end of your whatever it is that you're cutting um, don't pull your jigsaw out of the wood don't pull your blade out while it's still running make sure that the blade has come to a complete stop before you pull it out you will break or bend so many of your blades and they're not cheap they're not terribly expensive, but they're not cheap and they certainly aren't free. Okay, so here's my board. Here's what I'm gonna be using as my frame. It's kind of chunky, but I like the thick, kind of chunky look. There is my line, and then I'm running this right out to the corner here so that I can get my 90, my, my 90 degree to work out right, right here. Next, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna make my mark and get these pieces cut. Okay, so I had to break out the table saw, which is fine. Um, Cause we're gonna get a really good cut on it. y'all in on my little project for today. Got to do some little bit of sanding. Um, weathered wood, sometimes it doesn't, it kind of frays, it's a little soft, it's old. So we're just going to click on the mouse sander, nothing special, just run over some of these edges just a little bit. Okay. Now that that is done, All right, so I have also set up my finishing nailer. And we're just gonna assemble the frame now. Ladies, it's not hard to use power tools. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Because it only took one person in my life to tell me that I could do it. That was my daddy. You know, I thought about the glass. I thought about the plexiglass. I thought about... This is a textured piece of art. And I changed my mind, and I don't think I want to put any glass. I think I want it to just be like it is. In general, this is what it's going to look like. Now that the frame is done, I am going to use an adhesive because it's not paint. Okay, so we've got my glue gun warming up. 